Hello, this is Jonathan Johnson here again today working with Windows Server 2008 inside of VMware. Today we're doing activity 4-4 which is creating user accounts in Active Directory. The objective is to learn how to create a user account in an Active Directory. Description is, the management and access to resources through Active Directory begins through user accounts. In this activity you will learn how to set up a new account. So first off we log on to the server which we've already done. So we're going to click start on the bottom of the tab on the taskbar and we're going to click run. And then we're going to type in MMC, type MMC and then click OK. Alright, now that we've done that, we're going to maximize the console window if necessary, which we need to maximize it, so now we can see it better. Now we're going to click the file menu and click add or remove snap-in. So click file up top, go down, click add or remove snap-in. Alright, under the available snap-ins we're going to click Active Directory Users and Computers. So right here, Active Directory Users and Computers, we click that and then click Add to pull it over to the side for selected snap-ins. Now we've pulled it over to the side, we're going to click OK. All right, now that notice on the side over here under the taskbar, the pane, right here it shows Active Directory Users and Computers. We can go under there now and go into the recent activities, activities before when we created JJ Comp and then the saved queries. Um, the Active Directory is now right in here, so we can change this thing, domain, viewed, all tasks, we can do everything. Um, so let's move on to the next step. All right. In the left pane, we're going to click the plus sign in front of Active Directory Users and Computers. So there's a plus sign right there, so we're going to click that. Let's pull this out a little so you, we can see what's going on. All right. Active Directory Users and Computers right there. All right. If Click the plus sign we did. All right. Now we're going to click the plus sign in front of the domain name right here, JJ Comp. Now we to expand that. All right. We're going to click the users folder in the left pane. All right. Right here under here it says users. Whoa, we open that up and look at all these users inside of this inside of this file. Administrators, users, security groups. Remember the ones with one head, one human head right here, that's only one user. That's the administrator. When you have these ones that have two people next to them, these all are are groups. So guest, that's one person, and administrator is one person. But the rest of these are group users. Um, we're going to click the action menu or right click users in the left pane, point to new and click user. Right. <laughs> point to new, right here, point to new, and we're going to click user. Now we pulled up the new, new object user dialog box. All right, type your first name in the first name box, type your middle initial, all right, First name, we'll type right here. We'll type our first name, then I'll put my middle initial right there. And notice as I'm typing up here, it's putting it all into full name down here, below all the rest of it. All right. And we're gonna type my last. We're gonna type our last name in here. All right. Now we got my last name, first name, middle initial in there. Now we're gonna we're gonna. Alright, well we're going to append this. So right here in last name, we're going to append it to test. Okay, that way it says Jonathan D. Johnson test to append it to uh, the last name dialog box. For example, Ryan test. We'd enter our initials with test appended to them in the user dialog, user log on name box. For example, JR test as shown in figure 413. So what options are automatically completed for you? Well, when you autom when you type this in, the full name right here is automatically put in as you type up here. See, watch, I'll just start typing, and it's putting stuff in on automatically down on the bottom for me. Um, now we're going to click next. Well, can't click next for some reason. One second here. Oh, user logon name. I forgot, I forgot. So we would put J, J, test. We put JJ test for user logon name. And notice it put uh, JJ test down here for user logon name automatically too. See if I type in, it puts stuff down there right below uh, user logon name pre Windows 2002. All right, so now we got that. We're gonna click next. Now we're gonna enter a password and enter the password confirmation. Ensure the box is checked for user must change password at next login. 
So user must change password next login is checked. So we're going to create a password right here. All right. All right, we created a password and we confirmed it. All right, this option forces users to enter a new password the first time they log on so that the account creator will not know their password. The other options include they log on so that the, the user cannot change password, which means they only the only the account administrator can change the user's password. So password, we're going to, uh, right here we click next to verify the passwords. Now we're going to verify the information we have entered. All right, full name, user logon, user must change password. That's all correct. Okay, now we're going to click finish. Now that we got that set up, we're going to click the general tab. Well, I've always got confused what the general tab is, too, so. To configure, to continue configuring the account in the right pane, double click the account you just created, such as Ryan Test, except it's not called Ryan Test for us. All right, we're back. So notice right here under the uh, name, it shows Jonathan D. Johnson test. So we're gonna double click that to open it up. Notice all these tabs we have that we have uh, up top of this dialog box. Member of jjcomp.com slash users. That's what we created in the last one. The address, we didn't do nothing about that. The account is JJ test. Um, remember we typed up in here. It types down here automatically. We well, won't know more because we're not in the setup mode. But uh, terminal services profile, that's not set up yet. This is not, none of this is set up yet. So we're gonna click on the general tab. And if not, if it is not already displayed, and enter a description of the account such as test account, which is already displayed. So, uh, we're gonna type in description of this account. It's called test account because you don't want to get it mixed up with another account. So we'll put test account in the description for this. We're going to click the tabs you have not yet viewed, which we've already viewed them all, to find out what information can be configured through each one. We're going to click OK. Okay. Click OK. Now we're going to leave the Active Directory Users and Computers window and open for the next activity. <laughs> so we're done here. Save settings, of course. Well, exit out. No. All right. Notice we uh, just created that. Um, and that's all I have for you on this activity. I'm working with Windows Server 2008 inside of VMware. I hope you learned something on the activity we just did, which is creating user accounts in Active Directory. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.